Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys the first 15 things you should do on your device once you have updated to the new iOS 17.2. Now, if you're watching this video today, the day of the release of this video, iOS 17.2 should be released most likely tomorrow or on Tuesday. And if you're watching this video on Tuesday, you probably have already updated to iOS 17.2. And these are the first 15 things that I suggest you do once you have updated. Now, first of all, if you have installed the beta of iOS 17.2 and you no longer want to continue with the next betas, you can just go ahead and turn them off. Go to settings, general, and then under software update, you will find here the updates for the beta. So you have beta updates, just go here and turn them off. Now, of course, after the release of iOS 17.2, we'll most likely have some smaller updates until Apple releases the next bigger update, which will be, of course, 17.3 and it should be sometime in 2024 but until then we should get a few smaller updates maybe any security updates so what i suggest you do next is head on to settings general under software update go to automatic updates and make sure you have these turned on so all the security updates that apple might release will be installed on your device automatically and you don't have to bother about installing them manually on your iphone now, a lot of times when you update your iPhone to a new software, there will also be updates for your carrier. Well, you can also update your carrier by simply heading on to your settings, go to settings, and again, under general, you will see the about section here. Of course, there is no like button or anything that allows you to update your carrier, but all you have to do is just go here under the in the about section and if there is actually an update it will pop up right here so you don't have to do anything you just need to go into the about section on the general settings and if there's something new it will show you a pop-up here and it, it's updated basically automatically now of course a must do is updating your apps once you have updated your iOS device, especially when updating to a bigger update like iOS 17.2, you must also update your apps to their latest version. Most of the apps will be releasing updates to, of course, support the new version. So make sure you go to your app store, go to your account here and have all your apps up to date. Now, of course, if you don't want to bother with them, all you have to do is head on to your settings and then go under the app store section here and you will have app updates here you make sure that you have this turned on which means that your apps will automatically be updated once a new version for that app has been released so of course this is really important as you need to have the latest version of the app in order for the app to work as it should with the new update now if you have previously noticed when you have updated your iphone to a new ios version you will see sometimes a decrease in battery health on your iphone now here's why that's happening and why it's important that you check the battery health of your iphone after you have updated your device now if you go to battery here and you go under battery health you can see in this case i have a 100 battery health and it has been like this for a couple of months now but it might drop once i have updated my device that will happen because when you update your device the software will recheck will basically scan all the components of the iphone and that way it will also check the battery and it will basically like calibrate it and will show you here the real percentage in battery health because it might say here let's say 100 but maybe it's a 98 but it's just not showing there and when you update it it will actually display the real battery health of the device now what's really bad is that once your battery health drops under 80 percent it the device of course won't perform as it should you will need to replace the battery and if you have a battery with the health let's say at 81 or 82 maybe and you don't didn't notice that you, when you have updated it has dropped under 80 that will have a really bad impact on the performance of your iphone so just check the battery health and see if it's still above 80 percent now with iOS 17.2, you can now finally change the default notification sound on your iPhone. Finally, Apple has decided to allow us to do that. And if you have updated your device to iOS 17.2, you can now do it simply by going to settings, sounds and haptics. And here under, under default alerts, you will find all these tones that rebound is the default one of iOS 17. You will find all the tones right here. You will have some classic ones as well. And if you just wanna have the old one from iOS 16, it will be this one right here. This is called Tree Tone, and the rebound is a new one of iOS 17. 
And now let's move on under privacy and security. And here we have sensitive content warning. And you will notice that you can use it for your contacts as well. Well, Apple has expanded this feature and now it works with the contacts posters and the stickers that you receive. So if there is something that you shouldn't see, this feature will work. But of course, you have to enable here the sensitive content warning for your contacts as well. And you got to try out the new widgets as well. Apple has added some amazing widgets, especially for the weather app. So you will have three new widgets for the weather app. You will have the sunset and sunrise right here. You will have the weather forecast for the next four days. And then you will have one with all the details you need to know regarding the current weather. So we'll see the weather right there, the highs and the lows, and then you will have the UVI, the wind, and all the things that you need to know the details regarding the current weather right here. So three beautiful new weather widgets on iOS 17.2, which I believe you must try. You will probably end up using one of these on your home screen. And if you use Apple Music on your device, you will now have a favorites playlist. Just like on Spotify where you favorite the song and it will be automatically added to the favorites playlist, you will not get that on the music app of iOS. So when you favorite a song, it will be there. All the favorite songs will be on that playlist. And if you want to make sure that the people who you're talking to are the people who you think they are, you want to verify basically your contacts, you can now enable verification in iMessage, which you can find under your Apple ID. So simply head on to your Apple ID at the top of your settings app, scroll all the way down just under the list of your devices, you will find contact key verification, a new feature which Apple has promised a long time ago. Finally, it has made it to iOS with iOS 17.2, and you will be able to enable the feature right here. And now that we're done with the new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 17.2, which I believe you should check once you have updated, here we have a few other things that I believe is a really good time once you have updated your device that you give basically a look at and see if you have them configured as they should be on your device. First of all, of course, your privacy is very important. So head on to your settings, privacy and security, and right here we'll find something called tracking. What you will find here is a list of all the apps that have required to track you. Now, you know, once you install a new app, you most of the times you will get that pop up asking you whether you want to allow the app to track you or not. Well, sometimes when installing a new app or maybe a new game, you're maybe on a rush and you will just allow it accidentally. So go ahead and go under privacy and security, go under tracking and see the list right here. See if you have an app here that's tracking you that you shouldn't be and make sure you have them switched off. Another thing I believe you should do once you have updated your device is back it up. Now it's a good time to back up your device, back it up to your iCloud or maybe to your computer. Most people won't be just like looking at their iPhone or just doing stuff on their iPhone like updating and things like that daily. So when you just put some time into your device and you have it updated to the newest version, you will probably have a few more minutes to actually back up your device because it's really important that you keep all your data safe. Also under privacy and security, make sure you go to the things here that are real important and check which apps have actually access to your stuff like contacts, photos or your Bluetooth or the microphone of your device. You can see right here, this is a list of all the apps that do have access to the microphone of my device. You can do the same for your device here, check these apps and make sure of course you turn off the ones that you don't want to see there. These are really important things like the camera of your iPhone, all these things do have access to the camera and you will have your contacts, your photos as well. So make sure you always take a look at these things and see if there's an app that shouldn't be there. Now the same goes for location services as well. You will see here a ton of apps that will have access to your location. And when you go to one of the apps, you can see here if I go to Instagram, it has access to my location while using the app. Now what you can do if you don't actually need an app to have your precise location is switch this off right here. Now of course, things like navigation apps and things like that do need to have your precise location in order to work as they're designed to. But for things like social media apps and stuff like that, you might want to turn this off. So the app won't be able to actually track your specific location. 
And last but not least, now that with iOS 17.2, you will be able to change the sound of your notifications. Make sure you also check your notifications as well. Now, notifications on iOS are one of the biggest battery drainers. So make sure you go here and see the list of the apps that do send you notifications. You can see I have a lot of apps here turned off completely because I don't need notifications from those apps. So I don't want them to send notifications and bright up the screen of my device, give me a sound and a vibration and consume a ton of battery. So make sure to turn off the apps you don't need. Or if you just wanna see the notifications, you can just put them on the schedule like you would put like a few apps that you get notifications from just at a certain time of the day. So don't get, bo don't get bothered and don't get the battery of your iPhone consumed by these notifications. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for way more iOS 17.2 videos. And I will see you on the next one.